In today's video, we'll explore how to display an out of stock button in a product loop in Elementor when the product is out of stock. But when the product is in stock, it shows the buy now button and leads you to the product single page template. So all of this will be done using dynamic shortcodes and the dynamic visibility plugin. You see, it also has a different color for the post title when it is out of stock and when it is in stock. So now let's see how we can do it. It is really easy and simple. So let me go ahead and open the edit page. And here we have the edit page for the loop grid. It just contains two separate buttons. The plugins we're using are dynamic shortcodes and dynamic visibility for Elementor. And obviously we're using the Elementor Pro plugin because we're using the loop grid. So we have two buttons over here. So the first button, it only displays when the product is out of stock. The second button displays when the product is in stock. So let's go ahead and see the products. So I'm using WooCommerce. So these are the products. I'll go ahead and open the products. You can see the products. I've set some to out of stock, which is the wine appreciation and the yoga one and some other ones are out of stock. The rest are in stock. So all we need to do is use a specific short code and let me just zoom in a little bit. And you can see under here, we have the stock status. So who column stock status, and then it either gives you in stock or out of stock. So that's all we need. I'm just going to copy this because that's what we're going to be using all through. So I can come back to my loop grid. So for the first button, which is the one that shows out of stock, I'll go under visibility. Then I'll go under dynamic tags because you might see WooCommerce here. But when you open the WooCommerce, there's very limited options. It all has to do with whether there's a product in the cart or not, but nothing that directly talks about the product itself. So we can come to dynamic tags. Then I'll just clear this out. And we click on the dynamic tags. I'll choose the dynamic short codes. Click on the wrench icon. And then within the dynamic short codes, all I have to just do is that when I copied stock, so who stock status, and that's it. Then I'll choose equal to so if the stock status is equal to out of stock, all one word out of stock, then it will display this out of stock. The same thing for the other one, the buy now button, visibility, I'll go under dynamic tags. If you check the wrench icon, it's the same short code. And this time it said equal to in stock and it will display the button. So it will hide the first button when it is in stock but when it's out of stock the first button shows up if you want to put the different style on the text we use the same short code so we'll come to the text then we come to advanced and under css classes rather than just choosing a static class name i'll use a dynamic tag here so let me cancel this up choose the dynamic tags then i'll choose dynamic short code Click on the wrench icon and I'm still going to use that same short code, but this time I'll put it in an if condition. So I'll say if the stock status is equal to out of stock, then just put in a class name, which I will now style later. So this is how we do it. Open and close the curly brace. I'll put if column. Then I'll put open and close the curly brace again. EQ column. Then paste that who stock status if it is equal to out of stock all one word then i'll go outside of the curly brace then i'll put what i want it to show so i want it to have a class name of out dash of dash stock otherwise just have a blank class name so just put some blank quotation marks and that's it so then i now came under the custom css and i styled that 
out of stock dot elemental heading title and I give it a class name because I'm targeting the elemental heading title within the div. So that's it. So when you publish it now and you go under to the front end, that's how we have it. So we have this is given a, if I right click and inspect it, you would notice the class name here out of stock. Whereas when it is in stock, it has no class name. So inspect, you see that class name does not exist. If I wanted, I could also put a class name to say in stock. So if I come back here to the heading title and I go back to the layout and choose the event icon. So for the second one, I'll now say in dash stock and publish it. Let's see what happens on the front end. If I come back now to this second heading title, inspect it. This time, if you go to the wrapper div, you'd notice the class name now comes in in stock. The other one, inspect it. The class name is out of stock. So that's how easy it is. So you can now style it using custom CSS to say when it's in stock, you give it a different color. When it's out of stock, you give it a different color. And that's how simple and easy it is. So if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, share the video. If you have any further question, please write it in the comments. I will read your comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.